Hey guys, Phone Arena here, taking a look at the HTC Thunderbolt and the Apple iPhone 4. Um, some differences and uh, comparisons between the two models, uh, both of which are currently available through Verizon Wireless. First off, the uh, HTC Thunderbolt, as you're probably aware of, is the first 4G LTE smartphone for Verizon. Across the front you have a uh, 4.3 inch WVGA display. Overall images and text are uh, pretty good on it. We uh, like the uh, size of the display. On the bottom you have the four uh, touch capacitive buttons, speaker phone, and a uh, 1.3 megapixel camera on the top. On the left side over here you have your uh, micro USB port across the top. 3.5mm headset jack uh, volume power key. It's a little smaller than we would like and as you can see it's kind of uh, flush with the surrounding plastic um, so it's a little bit hard to find um, without actually looking for it. And on the right side you have the volume rocker but it's like one large button here so you have to really kind of feel where you're going to uh, press on that. On the back we have a, a 8 megapixel autofocus camera with dual LED flash plus a handy little uh, kickstand that you can flip open when you want to uh, watch videos or uh, maybe listen to uh, music. So overall it's a, a pretty well made device out of uh, plastic and aluminum. As you can see compared next to the iPhone 4 it's a lot uh, larger overall. It's a lot uh, beefier, uh, heavier in weight. The iPhone 4, as you can see, is more compact. The has a, a 3.5 inch Retina display on that. Uh, has a higher uh, pixel count, so images and text will look a bit sharper on the iPhone 4. But um, it's kind of your decision here. Do you want a larger display or a smaller display with a little bit higher resolution? Also has the uh, VGA camera on the front, standard uh, uh, button here on the uh, the bottom that's the only physical buttons on the front on the left side you have actual individual buttons here for your uh, volume and uh, going in between normal and uh, silence mode the top same thing 3.5 millimeter headset jack power button a little bit bigger and a little bit more raised than the one from the Thunderbolt so we like that but you're still left with the uh, 30 pin preparatory slot on the bottom so you got to make sure you have a cable that will work with that instead of a uh, micro USB port on there. So overall uh, they're both uh, made uh, fairly well. Um, the iPhone 4 does seem a little bit better quality just because you have that uh, glass and metal uh, construction throughout uh, where the uh, Thunderbolt is uh, pretty much just a uh, plasticky feeling. Uh, one thing we do like though is on the Thunderbolt you have this uh, soft touch coating on the back which gives it a nice grip where on the iPhone 4 it's at a smooth glass back which you know shows fingerprints plus uh, is pretty uh, pretty slick you've also got the uh, 5 megapixel camera and single LED flash moving into the software there's uh, definitely going to be some differences uh, between the two naturally uh, the Thunderbolt runs on uh, Android 2.2 Froyo also has the uh, HTC Sense UI uh, skin basically throughout it. Um, it's literally like integrated into Android. There's no way to really separate it. But the HTC Sense works uh, really well. Uh, makes the Thunderbolt really easy to use uh, for anyone that might not have used a uh, smartphone before. Comes with a total of uh, seven home screens on here. It's also a, a large uh, selection of uh, widgets that you can choose to uh, place on the home screen. Also uh, some different scenes that will uh, change uh, the appearance as well as some different, uh, different skins that even further help to uh, change the appearance. So it's uh, really nice. It gives you some really nice uh, customizations here on the uh, Thunderbolt and your uh, app drawer here where all your applications are listed also uh, works really well. 
Meanwhile, on the uh, Apple iPhone 4, uh, of course, uses the uh, iOS interface. Go over here to the left, you have your uh, search, and then your uh, programs listed here on the uh, desktop. Of course, if you want to move them around, you can just press and hold, even uh, make a separate uh, swipe pane over here for uh, separate apps. So it all works uh, pretty, uh, pretty close, pretty similar here. Also across the bottom you have uh, four static icons for a phone, mail, uh, the web browser, and iPod. And of course you can change those around if you uh, so desire. So the iPhone 4 uh, does work uh, really well. The software, uh, no issues with it. Um, it's also uh, great for uh, beginners, which is uh, probably one of the reasons why a lot of people use the iPhone. The, uh, the software is uh, really easy to use, but between the two, they're equally uh, equally performing well with their uh, software. There's no lag time. Um, the iPhone 4 does lack uh, any type of uh, uh, customization like the Thunderbolt, except for uh, changing the wallpaper and uh, some ringtones. You can't really do um, uh, widgets and scenes and themes and, and different things like that. So between the two, if you're looking for customization, the uh, Thunderbolt is definitely the way to go. Now if you happen to use the uh, internet and uh, web browser a lot, the uh, Thunderbolt is definitely the way to go since it uh, loads pages. Um, if you're in a 4G network uh, with uh, the Verizon 4G LTE, uh, while the uh, uh, iPhone 4 is limited just to the uh, 3G EVDO network, so uh, you're looking about two to two and a half times the uh, load stage here. So it's loading up uh, phonearena.com. Uh, also keep in mind that on the uh, Thunderbolt it uh, supports a full uh, flash on there while the uh, Apple iPhone 4 does not. But even though the Thunderbolt is going to be loading up flash ads, uh, we'll see here that it actually uh, will load the page quicker. Okay, there the Thunderbolt's done. And you can see the iPhone 4 is uh, still loading down there. And while it's continued to load, uh, you can see here the Thunderbolt does have the uh, pinch to zoom. And now the iPhone 4 is done. So as you can see, it takes about twice as lo long to load uh, web pages on the iPhone 4. But that's also true with uh, any data service as well as uh, email or uh, downloading applications. Now, if you're not in a 4G area and that doesn't matter to you, um, then they both will uh, do about the same uh, speed for a 3G. Um, but if you're in a 4G area, might as well take, uh, take advantage of the faster speed with the uh, HTC Thunderbolt. We've got the uh, speedtest.net app loaded up here on the uh, Thunderbolt and iPhone 4. So uh, definitely, once again, you're going to see the uh, speed difference here. Thunderbolt's pulling in about uh, uh, anywhere between 8 and 11 megabits per second on the download, while the iPhone 4 normally averages between uh, 0.5 and uh, 1 megabit per second for download speed. So if you're in a 4G area, uh, the Thunderbolt is definitely the way to go um, because you're going to get those uh, much faster download speeds. Uh, for web browsing, email, and uh, applications downloads. Between the cameras on both devices, the uh, 8 megapixel camera on the Thunderbolt and the 5 megapixel uh, camera on the iPhone 4, the uh, HTC Thunderbolt is going to produce a better, sharper uh, image. Um, there's going to be more fine detail where images with the iPhone 4 aren't going to be quite as sharp, uh, a little bit softer around the edges. Uh, Thunderbolt is okay on most images outside, but we did notice that uh, bright images um, with uh, bright areas in it, such as like the uh, the sun or uh, like uh, sun reflection off the sidewalk, have a tendency to be uh, completely whited out and overexposed, while the uh, iPhone 4 um, actually was able to produce a uh, blue sky and uh, not white that out. Um, we also noticed that uh, colors on the uh, Thunderbolt 
had a tendency to be a little bit more um, uh, oversaturated while on the iPhone 4 uh, colors were a little bit more uh, a little bit more natural as far as the uh, 720p uh, video recording on both the uh, Thunderbolt um, uh, picture looks a little bit uh, better as far as the color and sharpness goes um, but images have a tendency to look a little bit jerky well on the iPhone 4 it's a little bit better uh, frame rate on there um, so uh, playbacks a little bit smoother uh, but the color on the uh, videos with the uh, iPhone 4 aren't going to be uh, quite as uh, quite as good and saturated as the HTC Thunderbolt. As far as the uh, overall call quality on each, uh, we're a little bit disappointed with the uh, Thunderbolt. The uh, first unit we received actually had a, a defective earpiece. Uh, regardless of the volume level, uh, we'd always get a bit of a uh, like a rattling. Uh, buzzing sound in the uh, back so we got it replaced sounds a lot better um, until you turn the volume up past medium and then you do st start to get that a uh, bit of a buzz but um, one issue that we had with both Thunderbolts <clears throat> is that there's a continual background uh, hiss noise on there uh, meanwhile the iPhone 4 is uh, pretty crystal clear uh, just like the uh, Droid X, there's uh, no uh, buzzing uh, sound, rattling sound in the earpiece at high volumes, and there's no uh, uh, background hiss, uh, white noise either. So between the two, um, we actually think the uh, iPhone 4 is uh, producing a better uh, call quality, not just on our end, but also uh, with people that we talked to. They said that we sound a little clearer and natural on the iPhone 4 than on the uh, Thunderbolt. So overall it's uh, pretty much a matter of opinion here. Um, Thunderbolt's, a, uh, like we said, pretty large device so if you've got a small hands, maybe a little bit too, uh, too large for you, but we like the, uh, the uh, 4.3 inch display and the, uh, the 4G is uh, definitely what sells us on the Thunderbolt uh, because of the uh, faster speed. The uh, Android 2.2 with the HTC Sense is uh, really easy to use. Uh, we, we love Sense and it really works well here on the uh, Thunderbolt. Uh, the iPhone 4, um, of course, uh, has been out for about a year, uh, even though the uh, CDMA version just hit Verizon uh, about a month or so ago. Uh, so there's really no differences uh, with this one than the uh, than the AT&T one. Uh, so the software is pretty solid. Also uh, simple to use. Um, both of these uh, currently have a, a 32 gigabytes in them, though the iPhone 4 does come in a, a 16 gig model. The uh, HTC Thunderbolt has a, a 32 gigabyte uh, SD card already installed in it and uh, uh, just got to take the battery cover off and you can change out memory cards on there if you want. While on the uh, iPhone 4 the memory is all solid state built right in as is the battery so there's no way to uh, change that out. So it's uh, pretty much uh, your call here. We like both of them. They're both at the uh, top of their uh, game. Um, if you're in a 3G area and uh, you really don't need uh, the use of that of uh, 4G and you like the iPhone, of course, uh, go with the iPhone 4. Uh, but if you're in a 4G area and you definitely got to have that extra speed, you like Android and uh, HTC Sense, then uh, the Thunderbolt is uh, definitely your call. Uh, be sure to check out our website at phonearena.com for our full list of comparison between both devices.